Hi, I'm Paul Ramsey, a data and AI specialist at Google Cloud. And today I'm excited to demonstrate how you can level up your customer segmentation strategy by leveraging the power of Google's unified data and AI platform. To demonstrate these capabilities, we'll follow the journey of a fictional chocolate company called Chocolate AI. Chocolate AI is a small, high-end chocolate and coffee shop operating four brick and mortar stores in Paris, France. They have a small but dedicated marketing team, and they face challenges with ineffective marketing campaigns. This is due to their broad, one-size-fits-all approach to messaging. To help them overcome these and other marketing challenges, Chocolate AI's analytics team just deployed a new marketing analytics solution built on the Google Data and AI platform. Today, we'll walk through two features of the platform that combine the power of BigQuery and Gemini and Vertex AI to perform advanced customer segmentation. First, we'll use Gemini to assign customers to segments based on their purchase history and user profiles. Then, we'll leverage the new task types in Google's latest text embedding model to create new segments on the fly with vector search in BigQuery. This allows us to deliver hyper-personalized promotions to long-tail niche customer segments. Let's take a look at how it works. We start by loading our customer profiles into BigQuery. For our demo app, we generated the profile data using Gemini's new structured generation feature. This provides predictable JSON formatted output based on the flexible open API spec response schema. In the real world, you might source this data from multiple internal and external data sources, like CRM systems, order history, social media, public records, and third-party data providers. Next, we calculate loyalty data for our customers based on reviews and order history in BigQuery. This takes advantage of the rich enterprise data we've already collected and curated over the years. We then leverage Gemini to assign our customers to segments based on their profiles and loyalty data, avoiding hours of manual, error-prone work that would otherwise be required to read through the profiles and sort customers into segments by hand. Finally, Gemini summarizes each customer's profile and highlights opportunities for us to connect them to the products they care most about. The output of each step in this workflow happens to be JSON, which is a great input format for the text embedding model we'll use later. Rather than having to parse and flatten all of this nested data before storing it for analysis, then having to retrieve and concatenate it again to generate embeddings, we can simply leverage BigQuery's native JSON data type to store the data and create views that leverage BigQuery's built-in JSON functions to simplify querying this complex semi-structured data. Now that we have each of our customers assigned to segments in a flattened BigQuery view, we can retrieve a list of target customers for new marketing campaigns using familiar SQL syntax. If we stopped there, the data we have would be pretty useful, but it's probably not too different from other customer segmentation strategies that you might have seen before. But now, with GenAI, we can go a step further by generating embeddings to enable semantic search and on-the-fly customer segmentation, leveraging Vertex AI embeddings and vector search in BigQuery. If you're not familiar with embeddings, we've got some great blogs and other resources available to help you get started. For now, the important thing to know is that embedding models are machine learning algorithms that translate unstructured data, like images, text, or in this case, JSON documents, into multidimensional vector representations that look something like this. This format allows vector databases, like BigQuery, to efficiently compare unstructured inputs to each other and quickly find other similar objects. In the case of text embeddings, these vectors are able to capture the semantic meaning of the input text so that we can get query results that answer not just the literal search terms that we provide, but also the intent and semantics behind our questions. Vertex AI's latest text embedding models now support multiple task types, enabling you to go beyond simple semantic search with embeddings that are optimized for various tasks, things like document retrieval, question answering, fact verification, and clustering. In our case, we'll use semantic search embeddings for our customer summaries, and we'll use clustered embeddings for the customer profiles, loyalty data, and segmentation data in BigQuery. BigQuery supports scalable vector search across our embeddings with built-in managed vector indexing. This allows for fast vector search across billions of vectors. Now let's take a look at how we can actually use all this. 
Imagine I'm a marketing analyst for Chocolate AI, and I'm trying to improve the performance of my marketing campaigns by targeting different segments of customers with promotions that are tailored to their interests. For example, let's say that the Tour de France is coming up, and I want to promote special edition commemorative bike-themed chocolates. In the past, I would cast a wide net and send a promotional email to all of my subscribed customers. However, every time I send a customer an email they're not interested in, the more likely it is they'll ignore future communications from me, or worse, they'll unsubscribe altogether. But now, using my Gemini-generated segments, I can search for a subset of my customers who are interested in cycling to target with a hyper-personalized email campaign. This is useful, but my interface only takes advantage of a small number of the actual segments in my database. Not only would it clutter my UI to include all of my possible segments, but it would also require my already overcommitted development team to make a UI change every time I wanted to add a new segment. Instead, we can use Gemini Assisted Search to map terms from a freeform search box like this to actual segments in BigQuery. For example, I can now get more specific with my segmentation by adding criteria for language. Using this method, I can flexibly query any segment that exists in BigQuery. Notice here that this is still keyword search. We're providing a JSON schema that contains all of the possible segments in the database, and we're asking Gemini to map the terms in the search box to these segments. The resulting query maps a where clause with age, gender, marital status, hobbies, and language. However, even with Gemini-assisted keyword search, we're still limited to the set of Gemini-generated segments that we created earlier. For example, what if I wanted to target a long-tail niche customer segment that doesn't exist in that predefined set, like cyclists who prefer a vintage aesthetic? This search yields no results because the style segment doesn't exist in my database. To solve for that, I can now combine the Gemini-assisted keyword search with vector search to identify specific customers who would be interested in these unique combinations of features. In this example, we used semantic embeddings on the customer marketing profile summary. These types of embeddings excel at identifying objects based on their semantic and contextual meaning. But what about the clustered embeddings that I mentioned earlier? By using the clustered task type with Vertex AI's Text Embedding 004 model, we can model the complex intersection of many different segments to surface commonalities between customers that aren't immediately evident using traditional segmentation. To make this clustering easier to understand, we can leverage the TSNE algorithm to help us visualize the high dimensional data produced by our embedding model in a two dimensional space, making it much easier to comprehend. For example, on the right hand side of this slide, you see a dot plot of the embedding space of our JSON customer segmentation input data. It's overlaid with colors that identify the various age ranges in our customer base. You can see that the model was able to take this complex JSON which contains many more segments than just age. And then it's able to logically map customers into an embedding space based on their similarities to one another across many different segments. This creates new opportunities to target sets of customers with relevant marketing materials that traditional segmentation approaches might miss. For example, we can visualize the embedding space of our customer segmentation data, and we can highlight all the various segments that are interesting to us. Even though each customer's relative position in the embedding space doesn't change, you can see that the categories are still pretty cleanly grouped together. Here, we're also finding the centroids for each segment, meaning that the customer identified as the centroid represents the center of gravity in the embedding space for that segmentation strategy. Putting it all together, we can find the centroid for at-risk customers, in this case, customer ID 6673, and we can use vector search to find the 250 nearest neighbors of that centroid, which may or may not already be labeled as at risk. This is a type of early warning system that gives us a new list of customers that we can target with customer retention messaging to build loyalty among customers that may be about to churn. These are just a couple of the ways that we can leverage the combined power of BigQuery and Gemini and Vertex AI
to level up our customer segmentation strategy, optimize our marketing spend, and build loyalty in our existing customer base. Scan the QR code on your screen to try out the demo in your own environment. If you'd like to learn more about building a solution like this with your data, reach out to your local Google Cloud sales rep, and they can connect you with one of our technical experts for a deep dive into your use case. Thanks for watching.